Okay, so I have a problem. I wanna spend more time up in the mountains and on the rivers, but in order to do that, I need cell phone service because I actually have to get some work done every once in a while, probably just like you. So I went ahead and bought myself this WeBoost Reach uh, signal booster kit. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. We are literally buying it to see if it can solve one of our problems. So we're headed out to the mountains. We're gonna beat this thing up and do some testing. This is not an unboxing. Anybody can open a box. At the end of this, I, we did come up with seven key tips for using this antenna and uh, seven things that you need to know if you're ever considering buying one. So stick around and uh, we'll walk you through all of them. I know it's really hard with zoom to be able to see this, but uh, zero bars. And uh, we can go over to the car and plug it in. And we got two bars in LTE. So it is working fairly impressively along this remote stretch of highway out here. Um, we do a lot of rafting out here and a lot of kayaking. And um, there's a lot of hiking and fishing to do. So it's a pretty amazing spot to be able to have service, be able to get a little work done while you're out in nature. Let's talk about the model. This is the Drive Reach. So this is the newer model. There is an older model that you can still buy out on Amazon. It is called the Drive 4GX. Um, that is not um, as strong as this one. This one actually has the maximum amount of boost that you can put um, into, into a boosting antenna because um, that's regulated by the FCC. So if you are buying one of these, you don't wanna go cheap and save the extra 100 bucks for the, the 4GX. It's just not worth it. Um, this thing has more than double the boost of that model. So make sure you're getting the right model. Now another thing that's really key, if you'll notice this kit came with its own antenna. This is a really handy antenna. It's, it, it, it's magnetic, so it's so easy to install. It takes less than 15 minutes to install this in your car, by the way. Uh, but you actually, the magnetic antenna is super handy, but the problem is it is a very short antenna. Um, so also there is two antennas. So pay attention when you buy your kit to what antenna you get. We did extensive testing with the antennas and all antennas are not created equal. Surprise, surprise. So right here, here is that magnetic antenna. Uh, here is the other antenna and it has two additional extenders. So it can actually go two feet taller than this. I don't think you probably, you know, need a lot of guessing as to which one was better. This one was definitely better. Uh, there was places where this one worked great. In fact, most places this one worked about as good as this one. But there were some places that were really remote that we went where we had no signal with this one and we did get signal with this one. So this one definitely helps. Where you mount it, how high it is, these things all make a difference. But you're also in an off-roading vehicle. So you can't always have an antenna sticking sky high that's gonna get wiped out by the trees and everything. So I actually recommend using this antenna, mounting it on a short mount when you're out in the bush, and then being able to bring your two extensions and being able to add those fairly easily uh, if you end up running into a need for it. Um, so yeah, two antennas. This is key as well. Make sure you're getting the right kit and make sure you're getting the right antenna. One quick note on antenna mounting. Uh, the barrel antenna that you can get it with, uh, the better antenna, comes with a mounting kit. Um, and the factory holes on that mounting kit actually line up perfectly with four holes on the front of a rat, on the front of a Prinsu rack. Um, so it's very, very easy to mount to a Prinsu. It's very easy to mount to any rack that has bars. And then with other ones, you're going to have to just get a little bit creative or may have to 
buy an aftermarket uh, mount. I didn't really have any problems working with their mount and their mount does come with a really nice big spring on it. Um, and we tested that out. We drove straight through trees. We're smacking the thing all over the place. The antenna held up, didn't break, uh, and the spring did its thing. So uh, it actually comes with pretty good hardware. I was actually really impressed with the, the mounting hardware. Okay, so here we are outside, and here's a quick look at that mounting hardware that I was talking about. Um, it just bolts right into the side on pre-drilled holes on the side of a Princey rack. Um, you can see the big spring that it comes with. Um, and that worked actually really well when we ran this through a bunch of trees to kind of see if it would break and what would happen to it. Um, you can see it bounces quite well and it swings around and it was able to just uh, absorb those hits and, uh, and no problems. Okay, so here's a perfect example of why I think this product is sometimes misunderstood and maybe get some unwarranted bad reviews because it does seem to work pretty well. It definitely... Um, says no service but one thing I like to do when I really need service is I like to put us in airplane mode pull us out of airplane mode and there you go see it already locked on to LTE and we've got two bars long story short that's two bars right there and LTE um, but I had to go into airplane mode and back out. I don't know exactly how phones work. I know they ping for towers on a certain basis. I have a feeling there's some kind of battery saving technology that if it's pinged enough time and it hasn't had service, maybe it slows it down and it does it less to not run your battery out as bad. Uh, but whatever happens there, sometimes when you're driving and you haven't had service or you, you, you literally have your antenna turned off, when you turn it back on, you hit your airplane, but airplane mode, turn it on, turn it back off. Then your phone automatically pushes out a signal and tries to connect. And a lot of times you'll end up having service um, where you didn't think that you had service. Okay, so here we are at Staircase Run on the Payette River. It's on the South Fork of the Payette. You can look it up on a map. You can definitely realize from a map, this is a pretty remote place where it's pretty tough to get cell service. Uh, in fact, there's zero bars here. Plugged in the antenna, was able to get two bars in LTE. Can even watch YouTube videos, I guess, if I really wanted to, but I don't. Uh, when we're out here, we're usually rafting. Staircase is a class four river, and there are a lot of accidents that happen on it. So having cell service out here is an amazing thing for me. Uh, I always wanna be prepared in case something happens. I wanna be able to help people. So to have cell service out here, you know, literally right up there in that parking lot, even though we're in the midst of this giant canyon, to be able to have cell service up there is, is pretty sweet. Um, I actually also did a work call from here a couple days ago. Uh, me and my wife came up here to raft this stretch um, in our cataract, and I wanted to get a head start on it, so I drove up here early and was able to take my last conference call from the parking lot up here. Um, and normally I wouldn't be able to do that. Normally I'd be stuck at the office down in the valley um, waiting to get that last call out of the way before I could head out. So. So far, WeBoost is doing exactly as promised. It's extending the area where my cell service works. Um, it's doing a really good job. I don't expect it to work miracles. There are spots where it does go dead, but I used to be dead on this whole entire road along the South Fork. And then even most of the main pit, um, I had next to no cell service. And right now there's more places that have cell service than don't, so it's pretty impressive. That's the phone right there. You're gonna notice it's weirdly placed. It's on one of these little swivels. Um, and obviously the closer that you have the top of your phone to the antenna, um, the better it works. If you want your phone to work with this antenna, you're gonna have to have your phone very, very close to that internal antenna. Let me give you an example, actually. So right now we had two bars and LTE. 
I just moved the phone literally only not even a foot away uh, from that internal antenna that's mounted right there. And um, already that loses us one bar. Let's go ahead and hop out here. Now, now I just put it out by the door and we've already lost LTE. We're down to one bar, move it to the back seat, no bars. So I think a lot of times when people review this thing and say that it doesn't work, um, I have a feeling they don't understand the proximity that this has to be to that internal antenna. Okay, so let's talk conclusions. Uh, simple conclusions, uh, does it work? Absolutely it works. If you install it right, you follow the right directions, you keep your phone within an inch or two of that internal antenna, yes, this thing can work amazing. Will it work everywhere? No, it's not magic. If you're 60 miles from the nearest cell antenna, it's not gonna work. Um, the two considerations I would say is if you have to buy this because you have to have cell service everywhere in insane remote areas, you're going to eventually be disappointed um, for work. If you're buying this to increase your coverage and extend it a little farther, try to pick up some extra time, be able to knock out work more easily and get to places with LTE easier, this is a great purchase for you. The other thing to think about is just the overall nature of safety with this device. This thing is an amazing device for safety. The fact that there's these very dangerous sections of river that we raft all the time and there's no cell coverage and now we actually have much easier access to cell phone coverage is amazing. I actually had a friend that had a heart attack at the banks put in where there is no cell phone coverage. Um, luckily somebody was able to give them CPR for 30 minutes and somebody got in their car and had to drive for help and it took way longer than it should and he did end up surviving um, with no permanent brain damage. But the reality is to be able to just walk to the car and make a quick phone call would have been amazing. Um, we see Rex on there all the time. My wife actually hit a deer there just a couple weeks ago. Um, so for us, even if this doesn't solve every single one of my work issues, it is worth it for me. Um, also just, just for the increased coverage for, for safety reasons. I want to be prepared if things happen. I mean, it's one reason why I have an Overland vehicle that has drawers full of tools and everything. I, I wanna be able to help people out when something goes wrong. I, I want to have the right tools for, for everything that I'm doing. Do your research on the areas where you want to go. If you're within 10 to 20 miles of a cell phone uh, tower and you have some elevation in the right antenna, it could actually work for you. If you're 60 miles away, there's probably no hope, so it might not be the right solution for you there. Anyhow, um, we will leave a link to the right kit. This isn't the right kit. This is the kit that comes with the basic antenna. I actually bought both antennas to be able to test them for you guys. So I will leave a link to the right kit that comes with the better antenna. Um, if you click on it and you do buy through there, we will get a little kickback from Amazon that helps us pay for the fact that we're paying for antennas that we don't actually need. Um, and then also like and subscribe. We have a lot more outdoor content, a lot more gear reviews. We have some gear reviews coming up on uh, some racks that have failed us. Um, and a couple other pieces of equipment that we've broken. So uh, keep checking back. We'll try to keep uh, interesting stuff coming.